Vivid Voltage, released on November 13th of 2020. It's been almost four years now. Why did I buy a Vivid Voltage booster box? Now, um, I didn't buy a ton of these. I only bought one, okay? Just put that in your mind. I only bought one. Will I buy one more? Possibly, because if you guys know myself, and maybe you guys have the same mindset, I always like having at least two of a product because if I ever decide to sell one, I want to have one for myself because let's say Vivid Voltage somehow, I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but let's say a few years down the road, it performs well or whatever the case may be and I want to sell one. Um, at least I have one for myself. So it is possible I will buy one more because I have been finding some for decent prices, a little bit under market. Um, so I, am, I might buy one more. But other than that, I only have one. But I want to talk about why I decided to buy Vivid Voltage. Now, I know some of you guys are probably laughing, saying that, oh, you said before Vivid Voltage was not a very good set. In the past, I had said Vivid Voltage was not the best set. But out of the first four sets, I feel like Vivid Voltage was a better one. I still don't like Darkness Ablaze. I know it's like $150 or whatever. I don't like Darkness Ablaze. Um, Rebel Clash, I don't like. I don't like Sword and Shield Base. Out of the first four sets, I have said in the past, Vivid Voltage is the best one because it has the Chonkachu. The Chonkachu card, if you go on TCG Player right now, um, it is going for $113. So it's still a very expensive card. However, that is basically the only expensive card and that's it. But out of all the first four sets, the Darkness Ablaze, Charizard, what is it, like $25? Rebel Clash, I don't know, it's 30, 40 bucks, the top card. Sword Shield Base, I think it's probably like 40 bucks, something around there. This is the best one. And it's a Pikachu. I mean, look at the box. It has a Pikachu in the front. This is the OG Chakachu Rainbow card. I think this is going to perform all right in the future. Um, compared to the other sets, I just feel like this at its price point right now, I bought this for $130 after tax. It was like $138. Um, so I was able to get it for a little bit under market because market right now is like $140, like around that range. Um, you can't find it for a little bit under. And I got this really nice condition box that came perfectly. Whoever sold this to me shipped it very nice and it's perfect basically. And uh, I just decided to buy Vivid Voltage because I really feel like some sets out there, they had did a big reprint on Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Boxes. If you didn't know, um, you were able to get them for so cheap when they reprinted. They're like 30 bucks each. Um, and I feel like that kind of hurt Vivid Voltage because people were probably just buying EGBs because they were so cheap and opening it up and booster boxes were probably uh, like sitting. Um, but I just feel like this set, being four years old, it has a Chonga 2 rainbow card that everyone loved, especially during the whole boom, right? Um, it's still over $100. I feel like this is a decent pickup for what it is. It has a Pikachu. It, there's a very, you know, expensive Pikachu card in there. I feel like in the future, if there ever, ever is some, you know, hype or whatever around Pokemon, I feel like Vivid Voltage is one of those sets, especially from Sword and Shield, where yes, the Rainbow card is very hard to, you know, chase and stuff, but I think that contributes to part of the price is because, you know, it's an expensive card, it's hard to chase, it's a Pikachu, it's a Chonkachu Rainbow. I feel like this set is not that bad of a pickup. Now, like I said, I only have one. Maybe I'll buy another one. I'm not heavily going into Vivid Voltage because no, I don't think this is going to outperform some of the other sets. Like I think maybe, you know, Silver Tempest is around the same price. I think that will probably perform better than Vivid Voltage. Who really knows? But I feel like this set for being this old, um, and having the chunk of chew, I feel like for $130, that is not a bad pickup. It's four years old. You got to think about four years old and still $130. So I feel like that's not bad. Also, another thing that I think some people forget about is that Vivid Voltage, and I know this is not going to be the driving factor, and some people may not even know this, but Vivid Voltage has amazing rares. Now, I know amazing rares aren't very popular, but right now, go to the sold listings for Vivid Voltage Amazing Rares, there's the Rayquaza, Jirachi, Celebi, there's the um, Zamazenta, Zacian, and Raikou. Those are the six Amazing Rares in the set. Go look at all the sold listings on those. They sell very frequently on TCG Player. Now, like I said, I know that's not the driving factor of the box price. I know that's not going to be the thing, but this is not a bad set for what it is. And I really feel like, and I'll keep stressing this, four years old, it has a Chonkachu that's over $100. I know that's basically the only card in there, but I think that's all it really needs. And I feel like for the age, the price, and what it has going for it, I know Surging Sparks, yes, it has a Pikachu on it too. Um, but I just feel like this is just an, the OG. It's going to be the OG Chonkachu. It has, you know, the rainbow card in it, and it's in Sword and Shield, and I just think it's a good pickup. So I bought one. So that's all I wanted to say. I know it's a short video and I kind of rambled a little bit, but um, tell me what you guys think about Vivid Voltage and if you have any of these boxes. I only have one, so it's not a big investment, um, but I really do like just this booster box. I think it looks really cool because the Pikachu, and I'm a big Pikachu fan. Well, that's all I wanted to say today. Just wanted to show you guys I have a Vivid Voltage booster box. So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.